Hey everyone, this is just going to be a quick video to go over delay compensation. So right now I have a mix pulled up that uh, I just did on tracks uh, not too long ago using virtual sound check. And if I go to like my kick here, um, ah, there's my snare, have some effects going on. A uh, lot of stuff going on in groups, um, utilizing flexi auxes so that I'm sending uh, some drum stuff to individual drum groups or individual like snare groups, and that is feeding a drum group. So a lot of things that are going on, um, you know, in the effects. A lot, of, a lot of stuff happening. So all that said, we want to make sure that everything is being kept in time. So if we go to menu preferences and under DSP configuration, this is where we can see the delay compensation of the system. So I've been seeing desks um, where they're accounting for one. I'm seeing this often. And so if you're only using one effect per slot, then that you're totally fine. But, um, you know, if this is for front of house, I would turn everything to three. Um, and I've run into this a couple times where master and matrix post processing wasn't ticked. And what that does is as soon as the signals reach the stereo bus, it, it immediately goes to the matrices. So it does that pre-processing. So it's pre EQ, pre insert, et cetera. So if you're doing every, anything on your left and right, and you know, a lot of guys are you know, using some compression and stuff, um, inserted on a left and right, if you're feeding matrices, you want to make sure that this is ticked. It's very important. So there are other presets here. Otherwise, there are presets here. So if you're doing monitors, for example, if we load that. It's going to reduce the um, amount of inserts, but it's also reducing the amount of time. So each of stage of this introduces latency to the overall system. So um, again, that's why at front of house, especially when you're tons and tons of feedback, uh, it's fine to have everything turned on because this, the overall system latency is still very low. Um, but depending on um, you know, artist requirements and what else you have in your overall system, uh, it may be too much for, for monitors. So that's why we have different options here. You know, mix front of house monitors, if we were to check that out. So on an input channel, you now have two, two insert slots that are compensated. So, um, that's what that does. But if you're doing front of house, throw them on three, um, do that. You don't want to have align all outputs that, that moves uh, matrices in time. So then that would actually mess up with the master matrix post-processing. So um, here we go. Those are the best settings. And uh, that's just my little video over delay compensation. If you have any questions, let me know, um, and I can go over this in more detail. All right, thanks.